Cole Brock loves his animals, but never thought he'd feel like one. We were used as guinea pigs for these drugs. A 20-year veteran was proud to serve in the Timor conflict between 2000 and 2001, but there was one condition. We were told on that parade ground by the commanding officer, uh, this drug, this trial drug is voluntary, but if you do not take it, you're not deported to East Timor. He was one of more than a thousand soldiers given to Fenequin, a drug designed to stop malaria. But he didn't think what should have helped him would end up harming him. Aggression, anxiety, um, bouts of depression. People who have uh, died by suicide who have taken um, uh, these anti-malarial drugs, and, it, and that's real. He was hoping a Senate inquiry into anti-malarial drugs would discover what he always believed. We thought this was this was our um, foot in the door, you know. But instead, it found there was no compelling evidence that tofenequin causes long-term effects. It's betrayal. It, the evidence, the scientific evidence is there. This isn't over. This is um, merely just a, the start point. Despite the medical findings, hope is not lost for veterans like Cole. A neurocognitive program is being developed by DVA, which the committee commends and supports. Ben Downey, 7 News.